So make.com just released AI agents. And in today's video, I'll give you a full breakdown, even as a complete beginner on how you can get started using AI agents and take advantage of the AI revolution. And so in this tutorial, what I actually will show you is three key sections. Number one is I'll show you how to create the AI agent. This is the base agent and the model inside, how you can give it the instructions. Then number two is I'll show you how to create the tools. These are the tools that the agent will use to get many different tasks done. And this is a relatively simple job. And then of course, the last one, which is pretty optional, is I'll show you guys how to create a trigger. That way your agent autonomously is able to go off and do work for you. So let's get started. So one of the first things you want to do is in make.com, come on over to this tab where it says AI agents beta. And once you click this, you'll be presented with this page. This is the starter page where you can instantly get to grips with building an AI agent. So let's actually move on to step one. This is where we're going to be creating the AI agent. So for creating the AI agent, what we need to do is click this button here to get started. Then you can see it says connection. This is basically a connection to OpenAI's server that we have access to the models. So here, just make sure you add your API key and I'll include a short clip on how you can add your API key right now. Over to the OpenAI playground. And then once you're here on this website, I'll leave a link to that in the description. Click the settings icon, then go to API keys. Here's where you'll see every API key you've created. Here you can see some that I've already created. This is where I'll click create new API key. And this is where you can name this one NA10 and whatever project you want to have, then you can click create secret key after selecting your default project. And then the key that it generates here is one that you never want to share with anyone. Just copy this and then click done. Of course, as well, it doesn't have to be OpenAI. You can add any company's AI model that you do want. So feel free to choose. Now, once you've got your API key, you can then name your AI agent, whatever you want. So for me, I've named this the AI agent script writer v2. I've just done that so I can distinguish between which agents I've actually built. Now for the model, I'm just going to go ahead and put GPT-4.0. This is a relatively decent model if you're using OpenAI. So this is the system prompt. Now this is basically where we tell the agent what its job is at our company or our business. So for this AI agent, I'm gonna want the agent to do three things. I'm essentially going to want it to search my database for my ideas. Then I'm going to want it to browse the internet for the relevant information. And then I'm going to want it to eventually finish and write the script. So I'm going to say you are a script writing agent. And so essentially you want to put this in as sort of like a workflow. So you basically want to make sure that with this agent, you're outlining the steps that it should take to get the work done. So for number one, I'm gonna say you should search Google Sheets rows to find the information. Then I'm gonna say you should then browse perplexity to gather that data. Then I'm going to say you should then finally create the script. Now, if you do wanna get a bit more detailed when you have a more complex agent, you can say use this tool in this scenario. But for now, this is something really basic. So we're gonna go ahead and click save. So you can see right here that I have my system prompt. Also, if I would like, I can add some context. This isn't necessary in this scenario. But for now, that is where we just click save. And that's of course our AI agent created. Now, of course, this AI agent can't really do much because it doesn't have access to any tools. And we're going to need to go ahead and give this AI agent tools so that it can actually go ahead and get to work for us. So this is where we click add and you can see I've already got some tools here. Let me show you guys how you can actually build your own AI tools that the agent can use. So next, what we want to do is we want to head on over to scenarios, click that button. And then this is where we want to click create new scenario. This is going to allow us to basically create a new AI tool. So let's click create new scenario. Now it's going to pop up with this where we can basically do a bunch of different things. So for the first thing, we have to do the first step. So remember, the first thing that the AI agent is going to do in this scenario is it's actually going to search our data for ideas on what scripts to write. So we're going to click Google Sheets. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do search rows. So then now you can see with Google Sheets, the reason I've done this is because you can very easily connect this to your Google Sheets. If you just click add, it's going to pop up with a Google authentication. You just click OK. And then immediately you're going to see all of your different files here on the drive. So now I've done my drive. And then for spreadsheet ID, when you click this drop down menu, some files will pop up and then you just click which one you want. So for me, I've just got my spreadsheet ID and it's got the AI research ideas. And then this is just going to be in sheet one. So now that's there, I will just click save. So I can just click save. And then now what I want to do is since this is a searching, so it's gonna search the rows, I'm then going to add a return. So we're just gonna click return here. And this is where we get the return output. So of course we're going to add a scenario output. And then for the output, of course, I want this information here. 
So for the output structure, this is basically where we're going to let the AI agent know exactly what data it received from this workflow. So when the agent uses this tool, it's going to get output that it might not know what it is. So I'm gonna put this as the output structure. So what is this scenario actually outputting? Well, it's outputting the content idea. So we're just gonna put that in. And the only thing is we can't use spaces, so we're gonna have an underscore. So I'm literally just gonna put content idea because that's exactly what the content idea is. And this is gonna put the AI content idea, okay? And so now we know exactly what the AI agent is going to be looking at. So when it, you know, has this data, it's going to know, okay, this is the content idea and I know what to do with this. So now that we're here, the content idea, this is basically where we're going to put the content idea. And since this is searching for the content idea, all we now need to do is just add the content idea from here. And so this is what my Google Sheets looks like. You can see I've got three ideas here. So I'm now going to go ahead and make sure that I have this information here because I want to actually quickly test this. And I probably should have tested this first. So with this module right here, what I want to go ahead and do is I want to just go ahead and run this module. So now it's going to give me some information. So now you can see it grabs that information, which is really nice. So for the content idea, I can just go ahead and I can grab this and I can just input that right there. So now you can see I've basically just grabbed the output from there and you can see that is basically going to take this and this scenario is going to return this output back to the AI agent. So when we click the scenario outputs we can see that our content idea is going to be that box. So this searches Google Sheets then gets the idea puts it into this area and gives it back to our AI agent. So now we can just simply name this Google Rose search tool. So now we have this tool added. What we now need to do is we need to change the box in the bottom left. This is a key thing because we need to make sure that our AI agent can only use this when it clicks it and not in any other scenario. So what we need to do now is we of course need to make sure that we save this. Don't forget to save this, just click save. So then you just wanna press the back button right here. Then on the top right, click options and scheduling. And then you basically want to change this to on demand. This is going to allow you to basically trigger the agent. So you can see right here on demand, click save. And then you want to activate the scenario so that the AI agent is able to use that. So now we have one tool where it's basically able to search the Google roles for the relevant information. Let's go ahead and create another tool so that they can actually search perplexity. So now we just need to once again, create a new scenario. And for this one, we're going to use perplexity. So we're going to do create a chat completion. Then of course, once again, make sure you do have your API key. And in order to get your API key, literally just search perplexity API key. It's actually really, really simple. All you need to do is come on over to perplexity.com then just click the settings icon, then click the API keys, and then just click create key, and then it will basically create you a new one that you can copy and paste. So once you've got your perplexity API key, let's go ahead and add messages. Then let's of course add this as the user, of course. Now with the model selection for perplexity, Sonar is the cheapest and most lightweight research that is available. So if you just need a quick Google search query, basically just to fact check something, this is gonna be what you're using. But if you're doing more in-depth research, either click pro reasoning or even deep research. However, it's gonna be a little bit more expensive, just so you guys know that. But for this demo, I will leave Sonar on. Now for the content here, we shouldn't leave this value empty. So what I will do is I will go down to scenario inputs and basically just click add item. So for this, I'm gonna add the AI idea. So just put AI underscore idea. You can really just put, you know, topic idea that could also work. So you could put topic idea. And for the description, I'm gonna put the topic to do research on from Google Sheets, okay? So there I'm gonna go click save. And so now you can see here for the content, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab this AI idea. So for the scenario inputs, it actually should say the one that's right here, the topic idea. I'm not sure why this hasn't changed just yet, but that's completely fine. Just put that in when it is there. So I think it's just because I didn't save it, but it's completely fine anyways. So yeah, now that you've just done the scenario inputs, basically what gets input to it, then of course we can add the topic idea. So let me just click topic idea. There we go. I just needed to refresh the page. So now we need to basically give that info back to the AI agent. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click return. So this basically just returns the output and then we're gonna add a scenario output. So basically for the output, we're basically going to name what the output of this is. So this is basically gonna be topic information. So for this, I can just put topic research. So I can put the completed text of research from perplexity, okay? So let me just spell that properly. The completed text of research from perplexity, I can just click save. And then of course, now with this for the topic research, I just want to, of course, put the content. So for this one, what I am going to do is I'm going to quickly delete this. And then I'm just going to put um, what is the latest AI story, because I just want to be able to get the output function. 
So now for the scenario, all I need to do here for the topic research is I just need to come down to the choices, then to the message, then to the content, and then just drag that content into there and click save. So now this scenario is basically going to have that topic from Google. Then of course it's going to do that. So now I can put the perplexity research tool. So now I've got a tool that's going to allow me to research the web. So this is perplexity research tool version two. And then now with that, I can just go ahead and I can just go ahead and click save. So once again, press the back button here, then click options, then for scheduling, click on demand to make sure that's saved. And then of course, activate the scenario. You want to make sure you activate the scenario so that you can enable it in the AI agent section. So now let's go ahead and add the tool that's basically going to write the script for us. So let's click create new scenario. So then now what I need to do is I need to once again, basically get all of that perplexity information and put that into the script. So scenario inputs, I'm basically going to put the perplexity output research. Then for the description, I'm going to put the output that was researched by perplexity. Then I'm just going to click save. Then of course, I'm going to actually add a module. So for this, I'm going to add open router and then I'm going to click create a chat completion. I could just add chat GPT, but for this, I actually do want to use Gemini. So for this one, it actually gives me access to so many different models. So I'm going to do Gemini 2.5 Pro. And then for the messages for the content, what I'm going to do is once again, I'm going to go to here. I'm going to click the perplexity research and I'm going to put write a video script about this topic. In fact, I should probably first put write a video script about this topic here. And then of course, I'm going to input the perplexity research and then we can click save. So of course I'm going to put user and then with that, I can click save. Then I can add another module. And then basically for Google docs, I, this is where we can just create a document. So click create a document. And then for here, you can see that now I just need to name this, whatever I want to name this. So for this, I can just put AI idea. So I just put new AI script, or I could even put the ID here if you just want a bit of variation. And then of course, for the content as well, what I can do is I can basically just go down to here. And then what I will do is I will just go down to choices, the message and the content output. So basically now this is basically going to take the research. It's going to create a script and it's going to create a new document with the ID and all of this stuff here. Now, and of course, for my folder, I've just named it make.com. So now I can click save. And then you can see that this scenario is set up completely. So all I need to do now is just name this. I'm just going to name this Google Docs or Google Doc Creation Tool. And so now that I've named it Creation Tool, I can just hit the Save button, of course, and then I can press the Back button. Then, of course, I can click the Options and I can click the Scheduling so that it is on demand. And so now when I click Save, I just click Activate Scenario. So now I want to come back to the AI Agent section and we want to configure this one. And then what we want to do here is we basically want to add the system tools that we just created. So let's click add. And then you can see right here that I've got Google search V2. Let's add that. Let's go down to the perp research tool V2. Uh, of course, this one, it needs a description. So this basically is going to tell the agent what this is. And I'm going to put this tool allows you to research the topic with the web tool called per perplexity. So then I'm going to click save. And then of course, for the Google doc creation tool, I'm going to put this tool creates the final script using another LLM, okay? And create a Google document. And then I'm gonna click save. And so now I can just add these tools to my agent's arsenal. So I've got the Google Sheet Search, the Google Doc Creation, and then I can just click add. So now you can see I've got an AI agent that can, you know, search Google, it can create Google Docs, and then of course it can also research perplexity. So now I just click save. Now here's the last step, which is of course running your AI agent. There are many different ways to do this, and I'm gonna show you guys. So one of the ways is basically just add make AI agent. This is called run an AI agent. So you can see right here, all we need to do is just simply go ahead now and just grab our AI agent from before. You can see all the tools are active. We can click save. Now with this, what I can do is I can set a trigger. So maybe I could do like a WhatsApp message or something that would trigger my agent to go and work. But you know, in this case scenario, it's pretty simple. I'm just going to head and trigger it with a system prompt telling it to get started on its job. So for this, I'm going to say get to work and then I'm going to click save. Now, of course, as well, what I did was I renamed this. I just renamed this to script writer agent. So that way I know exactly what the script writer agent is doing. And so now all I need to do is literally just run this once. And then when I run this, you'll be able to see that it creates me a new document. So I'm going to click run once, which is really nice. So now my AI agent is going going ahead and getting to work. And I just have to wait maybe 30 to 40 seconds for it to go ahead, go search my Google, you know, rows, 
then it's going to go ahead and you know do some perplexity research and then it's going to give me a final outputted uh you know document that i can use to script my videos and this is basically just a really simple example so i'm gonna you know flip back to when this is done and so yep the operation just was completed so now that that's done i'm gonna go ahead and check my google docs and in my google docs the new idea was just published i think i actually ran this too many times and then so here you can see it actually grabbed the recent one which is basically anthropic safety and how they are doing that so you can see right here it's got all of this stuff the only thing that i probably would want to do this was just change the system prompt for the google one so that it actually has the you know script the final script in a much better way that i can actually use but this is something that i really do like and i'm going to find really really useful like for example if this is too much for you don't forget you can just click more and then you can click you know import blueprint i've actually saved all of these blueprints so now if you guys do actually want access to these blueprints don't forget to head on over to the community go over to the classroom area click ai agent templates and i'm just going to upload this one right here so you can simply download that resource i've actually got many other ai agent templates there that you can download so this is a really nice community for those of you that are looking to get started with make.com ai agents and truly beginning to take advantage of them hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next